Hello, in this video, we will learn how to convert between different number systems. In our last video, we learned about different number systems such as binary, octal, decimal and hexadecimal number system. To summarize, the number system we use is called the decimal number system and it comprises of 10 digits from 0 to 9. Since it has 10 digits, its base or radix is 10. Then we have the octal number system which has base 8 instead of 10. It has only 8 numbers from 0 to 7. Then we have binary number system which is used in computers and it has only 2 numbers 0 and 1 so it has base 2. We also have hexadecimal number system which has base 16 so 16 symbols starting from digit 0 to 9 and then A to F. So now we will learn how to convert from one number system to another. We will start with learning how to convert from decimal to binary, octal or hexadecimal. So what we are doing is to convert a number with base 10 to base 2, 8 or 16. For this we will use repeat division method. To convert from decimal to binary, let's take a number 267. We know when we divide any number by 2, we get a remainder as 0 or 1. So we divide 267 by 2 and note down the quotient and the remainder and continue dividing the quotient by 2 until the quotient becomes 0 or 1. The sequence of remainders starting from bottom up is the binary equivalent of number 267 which is 100001011. Similarly, if we are converting decimal to octal, we will use repeat division by 8. We divide the number by 8 and note down the quotient and remainder and continue to divide the quotient by 8 until the quotient is less than 8. The sequence of remainders starting from bottom up is the octal equivalent of number 267 in decimal which is 413. Now the same decimal number 267 if we are converting to hexadecimal since hexadecimal is base 16 we use repeat division by 16. We divide the number by 16 and note down the quotient and remainder and continue to divide the quotient by 16 until the quotient is less than 16. We first convert the sequence of remainders to hex numbers like 11 is hex number B. This sequence of remainder from bottom up is the hexadecimal equivalent of number 267 which is 10B. You can practice this by using different decimal numbers. Now let's do the reverse. We will first convert binary to decimal. Here we use the positional notation method. For this we write down the given binary number vertically with the least significant digit first and multiply each digit by its weight. Since binary is a positional number system, each digit's weight is its place value raised to the power of 2. After multiplying each digit with its corresponding weight, we sum them up. This gives 428 which is the decimal equivalent of the binary. We use the same positional notation method to convert octal to decimal. We write down the octal number 654 vertically with the least significant digit first. This time we multiply it with 8 raised to the power of its place value. We multiply each digit with its corresponding weight and then sum it up. The resulting number 428 is the decimal equivalent of the octal number. Similarly, to convert hexadecimal to decimal also we use the same method. We write down the hexadecimal number 1 AC vertically with its least significant digit first. We first write the decimal equivalent of A and C which is 10 and 12 respectively. Then we multiply them to 16 raised to the power of its place value. After multiplying each digit with its corresponding weight, we sum them up. The resulting number 428 is the decimal equivalent of the hexadecimal number. 
Next, let's learn how to convert binary to octal and vice versa. Before doing the conversion, you should know the binary equivalent for octal numbers 0 to 7. Let's note it down first. Here do note that each octal number is represented by three binary digits. Let's take a binary number which we want to convert to octal. First, we split the binary values into group of three starting from the right hand side. If the last group has less than three digits, then just append 0 in the end. For each group of 3, consult the table to find the matching octal value and replace the groups of 3 binary digits with the one octal value. So here the answer is 254 in octal. We do the reverse of this if you have to convert octal to binary. We keep the conversion table handy. Let's take a octal number 654. For each octal number, we take its equivalent three-digit binary number and concatenate those numbers. This gives us the answer in binary equivalent which is 11010100. Next, let's learn how to convert binary to hexadecimal and vice versa. Before doing the conversion, you should know the binary equivalent for hex numbers 0 to f. Let's note it down first. Here do note that each hex number is represented by 4 binary digits. Let's take a binary number which we want to convert to hexadecimal. Split the binary value into groups of 4 starting from the right hand side. If the last group has less than 4 digits then just append 0 in the end. For each group of 4 consult the table to find the matching hex value and replace groups of 4 binary digits with one hex value. So here the answer is 1ac in hexadecimal. We do the reverse of this if you have to convert hexadecimal to binary. We keep the conversion table handy. Let's take a hexadecimal number 10b. For each hex number, we take its equivalent 4 digit binary number and concatenate those numbers. We can ignore the extra zeros on the left and this gives us the answer in the binary equivalent which is 10001011. With this we have completed the conversions. If you have any doubts, you can always join us or write to us at info at simplycoding.in. Thank you and all the best.